Hidden clues about our past are waiting to be discovered, and there might be a point in time where we know too much. When researchers and explorers come together, unbelievable knowledge can be acquired. From details on ancient brain surgery to massive catfish reeled in, here are recent shocking discoveries from around the world. Hey guys, this is your host, American Eye. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy that video. Number 12. Roman Whaling How far back have humans began hunting whales, and was it possibly more common in the ancient world than we once thought? Recently discovered archaeological evidence would seem to suggest that 2,000 years ago, the Romans not only did just that, but they could have hunted some whales into extinction. Where was ancient Greenpeace to break it up? Discoveries of whale bones in Gibraltar would indicate that whales might have been abundant in the Mediterranean and were hunted frequently. It was theorized that the Mediterranean Sea was out of the range for the gray whale until the bones were found along the coastal areas here. Some historians don't feel as though the whale bones indicate a whaling industry, and they feel as though they couldn't have had this kind of technology to conduct such an operation. This photo here displays an area where fish was salted and tanks to store the fish were used. They could have also had large tuna as well in the Gibraltar area. Number 11. Ancient Brain Surgery The last thing you need is a hole in the head, right? Not exactly, according to the ancient Peruvians. Several skulls were recently discovered which supported theories of ancient brain surgery stretching as far back as 400 BC and gradually getting more advanced. Doctors at this time felt as though a hole in the head was actually a good thing and it was possibly done to cure things such as headaches, seizures, and mental problems. The process of cutting, drilling, and scraping the skull is known as trepanation, and most couldn't even imagine trying to go through such a crazy procedure. However, in ancient Peru, they had the skill down to such accuracy that the procedure had a lower mortality rate than brain surgeries in the Civil War. It's still somewhat of a mystery about what they used to keep infection from spreading during these risky jobs. Some feel as though cocoa leaves were used as anesthesia. Where did the Incan Empire learn such advanced techniques for such a difficult task? And you also have to wonder, what would these people be like after a surgeon just removed a large part of their skull? Could our skulls actually be restricting the growth of our brain? Number 9. Ancient Pandas The lineage of the panda bear we all know and love may be a little bit more complicated than we once thought. Researchers have taken a close look at some mitochondrial panda DNA that was recently discovered in China, and what they found was shocking. They believe to have found a new subspecies of panda that once belonged to a distinct lineage that is not around anymore. For a while, not much about the history of pandas is known, but with archaeological clues, they might be ready to crack the puzzle. After this discovery, it's believed that pandas were much more widespread, and the split between modern pandas and ancient pandas is about 183,000 years old. Back then, pandas were primarily covered in black fur with skunk-like markings on them without the cute cuddly aspect we know as today kind of like how we see in this photo. It's likely that these guys were omnivorous, much like most bears are today, so more research is still needed. Number 8. Giant Wasp of the Amazon We've seen in recent videos how the Amazon is full of crazy stuff, but even recently, in July of 2018, a new species is discovered. A strange species of giant wasp was uncovered that we see here in this photo, with a massive stinger capable of injecting venom and also laying eggs. Finnish scientists, in collaboration with researchers from Colombia, Spain, and Venezuela, have closely studied the anatomy, which they find to be fascinating. They claim that they've never seen such an insect before, and it's catching people's attention. What's pretty crazy about this one wasp is that they can use their stinger for laying eggs and injecting eggs into host animals, such as spiders. It works in a similar fashion to wasps known as tarantula hawks. Where's Brave Wilderness so we can get a sting pain rating? Number 7. Frog and Amber Fossil one way organisms can stand the test of time is by being preserved with amber. Amber is basically fossilized tree resin produced by extinct trees during the tertiary period. This fossilized resin can even preserve fragile things like frogs for millions of years. These remarkable fossils show how little change frogs have made in the past 100 million years. Frogs are much less common to find, and you're usually not going to find an entire frog preserved this way. In order for this type of fossil to happen, the frog would need to be covered in the sticky sap of trees millions of years ago, and it's quite remarkable this thing actually exists. It appears as though the beetle he was trying to eat for lunch got caught, and they spent eternity together. 
Here in this photo, you see the tiny frog from Myanmar that scientists believe was caught in the sap trap 100 million years ago. This gives paleontologists an up-close look at what frogs were like, and it's doubtful any other fossils like this exist. Number 6. Earth's Oldest Fossil in March of 2017, archaeologists believe that they had found the oldest fossil ever found, which puts the origins of life at 4.2 billion years ago off the coast of the Hudson Bay. Here in this photo, we see the fossil that was discovered. It's only the width of a human hair, and it's best seen under a microscope. Not only is this crucial for understanding our own history on planet Earth, but also life possibly elsewhere? Some scientists hypothesize that this fossil, or a species of bacteria, could have actually came from Mars, believe it or not. During this time, billions of years ago, Mars was bombarded with comets and asteroids which would have sent rock and debris from Mars into outer space. Some of the debris, possibly with microorganisms, might have landed on Earth and was possibly able to survive the 33.9 million mile journey. Mars at this time had much more of a stronger atmosphere and even oceans, so who knows how this fossil got here. It's also possible that hydrothermal vents were developing from impact craters, giving Earth's oceans more nutrients. The bacteria also feast off iron oxidization, which could have easily survived rocks on the red planet. Number 5. Utsi's Autopsy It's quite remarkable how Utsi continues to shed new light on practices that were common in prehistoric times. Thanks to new scanning technology, scientists were able to figure out what Utsi's last meal was before being frozen in ice for eternity. This 5,300-year-old ice man comes from the Stone Age and was found by hikers along the border of Switzerland and Austria in 1991. The part about his daily life still kind of remained a mystery until now. His diet proved to be rich in game meat such as red deer, ibex, but also cereals and einkorn wheat. There was also one more item that really caught their attention. Utsi would wrap his food in a toxic fern known as bracken in order to keep it fresh, almost like ancient aluminum foil. The toxic plant was strong enough to kill bugs, but not strong enough to harm him or contaminate his food. It's quite shocking how smart prehistoric people actually were in this time, and this indicates some knowledge of prehistorical pesticides. Number 4. Massive Catfish Discovery You might expect the southern states of the U.S. to be home to the world's largest catfish, but that's not the case. Recently, some French fishermen in the Camargue region of southwestern France came across what would officially be the world's largest catfish of all time. The behemoth fish you see here weighs over 280 pounds and almost measures 9 feet long. After posing with the catfish getting proof of his existence, he set him back into the water to be free again. A large ancient catfish like this most likely wouldn't taste too good. Many experienced fishermen won't eat catfish over 10 pounds because the bigger it gets, the worse it tastes. Due to their age, the mercury levels are typically higher as well. This isn't the first massive catfish to come from Europe, and the previous record holder was captured in the Po River in Italy. Number 3. Lemur Research Discoveries Scientists are fascinated with lemurs and most animals in Madagascar. They're also making new discoveries about their behaviors. It's been shown that these primates can literally smell weakness of other lemurs. Aggressive males and females tend to excrete foul-smelling scents from their gonads, which are used to mark territory. After some tests were conducted, they swabbed the scent glands of the injured lemurs, and they noticed the scent decreased by over 10% when they were wounded. The natural musk that's let off will tend to vary depending on their health, which also might give lemurs advanced knowledge of when to attack their rivals. If this is possibly true for lemurs, could it be true for primates like us? When healthy lemurs are exposed to the scent of weakened lemurs, they tend to act more aggressively. There is no bluffing to a lemur if you're trying to look tough. Number 2. The World's Oldest Colors You probably never thought about it before, but below the surface of Earth lies the truth about our planet over a billion years ago. Scientists were curious what color the Earth would have been during this period of time. It's likely they also didn't guess that it was pink. That's right, bright pink pigments were extracted deep below the sands of the Sahara to reveal the chlorophyll that was produced during ancient photosynthesis. The rocks were crushed up carefully and analyzed by researchers. The ancient pink color proved that cyanobacteria was the main source of food at this time and it managed to dominate the food chain. It was also theorized that the dominance of algae brought an end to the vast amount of cyanobacteria of our oceans. At number 1. Bone Marrow Consumption Recent research has indicated that our hands are the way they are because of the amount of stress brought upon them that was needed to crack open bones in order to extract bone marrow. The reason dogs love chewing on bones is because of the nutrient-rich marrow that is inside, and humans used to eat it too. However, being able to get it out wasn't always too easy and required our hands to adapt in order to do so. 
An experiment took place that measured the amount of stress on the hands during tasks performed by cavemen on a typical day. It tended to show that bone marrow extraction was a key factor 